and in three, two. I won't be able to use this microscope. It's too basic. Some classified parts in it. Yeah, what I wanted to say, but I don't know if I can say or not. I can't say too much, you can. Shh. 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 What is defense technology? Singapore, we are a small country in terms of size and population. We do not have any natural resources in the country. To overcome this, we have to mix it of technology. Enhancing emerging technologies to act as a force multiplier. And this helps the SAF fight effectively and uh, respond to new and emerging threats. It makes Singapore safer and more secure. My team and I won the Defence Tech Prize for Island Air Defence. The team won the Defence Technology Prize in 2019 for the Hunter Armoured Fighting Vehicle. I was uh, responsible for the acquisition and integration of the remote control weapon station on the vehicle. We also leverage on augmented reality to be able to present the threat environment to our users. Cybersoc is a project that actually helps to monitor the health status of different networks across MINDEF SAF. Submarine Engineering is a recognition to my contribution through three classes of submarine program over a span of uh, 20 years for my work in navigation technology to provide autonomous capability for unmanned systems, robots, drones. For the first microsatellite that was built indigenously in Singapore. It's a multidisciplinary project with multi-party involving NTU and DSO and was launched in India in 2011 into space. We laid the foundation for the capability to develop these solutions for COVID-19. Our technology can also be explored and expanded to be used at the whole of government level. The Ministry of Health came to ask us if we had any SAF solutions that can be exploited for public testing. The satellite engineering paves the way for other satellite systems to be built. So we can say that we are like the pioneers. We develop uh, systems that allow our soldiers to operate effectively in a better fuel uh, environment. This is the Artemis, the brain inside the Hunter. We make it easy for our users to use, to see faster, shoot faster, and complete their objectives in the shortest time possible. Cybersecurity is more than just planes and tanks. There are no geographical boundaries. Attackers can come from anywhere in the world. If GPS is disrupted or unavailable, you lose your way. So imagine that for an aircraft or a drone, the consequences will be even more severe. What I did is to actually try to enhance and protect this service. Submarines is an important defense capability in Singapore. We use submarines to protect our sea lines or communications. We take sensors, weapons, C2's networks, and with that we are able to set up an air defense shield that allows the Air Force to deal with many threats at the same time. What's the best part of my job? I can work with people from different places. I have the opportunity to go to India to see the launching of the satellite. Yes, it's really a sense of achievement. We get to play with the most state-of-the-art technologies in the world. If you're a tech geek like uh, me, you get all hyped up about it. Yes! I was given the trust and also the confidence to define the submarines that the Singapore needs and to deliver this capability. The opportunity to interact and then mentor and share uh, with the younger colleagues that come along and carry our work even further. Over here is the dashboard of our CyberSoc monitoring system where you can see across the different networks. Like when you play games, you actually have health status of your different avatars. So same as CyberSoc um, dashboard, when one of the networks changes to orange, it gives the analyst a, a quick alert that there's something that needs attention. We are actually inspecting the integration of the satellite. It was many months of us staring at the satellite and uh, making sure every little screw that went into the satellite was where it's, it's supposed to belong. There's no mistake in, in building a satellite. It's so expensive and any small mistake, everything will just go into the drain. This is a picture about the launch of the Invincible class submarines, uh, Invincible. 
in uh, 2019. It is uh, one of the proudest moments because it has came a long way from dreaming about it, putting it on paper and building it and finally now it's in water. This photo shows the Hunter vehicles um, parked at Nico Highway beside Suntec City and there were many passerbys actually um, stopped and start taking photos of the vehicles. It was a very emotional moment for me. This is one of my favorite picture. This is actually a vacuum that we are wearing, but it's actually very comfortable. We are actually uh, training for our next level to handle the most deadly pathogen like Ebola. The work certainly don't stop uh, after you win a DTP. The key to this readiness is to stay vigilant. The missile, they all fly very, very fast. Our system allows us to respond to this threat within mere seconds. It cannot be seen by others, but yet it can strike as you want. That's why submarine is a very um, feared weapon. When you have a submarine that's operating in the area, your adversaries will think twice about committing their forces. What sets us apart from the rest of the world is that if we put our mind into it, if we gather all the technical talents in one place, then we can achieve whatever we set out to do. This is the end of the interview. Bye. I hope that you all have learned something from here today. But the rest are classified. So yeah, thanks, bye. Okay, bye. Very good, cut.